My diamond. My brilliant, opulent, radiant, glimmering... My diamond will suffice, or we'll never get through this. Of course, my diamond. <clears throat> Rose Quartz committed a crime. So unprecedented that one can't help but wonder why. Exhibit A. Lars! Steven! What's going on here? Where are we? As we can see from this specimen, humans are loud, absolutely hideous creatures that serve no purpose whatsoever. What sort of gem would turn on her own kind for this? I'll tell you what kind. A uh, that kind. Just let him go! He's got nothing to do with this! There it is! The passion! The fury! That caused the diabolical Rose Quartz to shatter her own diamond! But I know what you're thinking. This thing doesn't look like a rose quartz. And for that, I would like to call an eyewitness. <sighs> oh, eyeball! Do not address me, war criminal! I'm just glad you're okay. I heard it straight from her. She said, I'm the mighty rose quartz. I've got her shield and everything. And then... She threw me into space! I tried to help you. I healed your gem. And who else has the ability to heal gems other than the villainous Rose Quartz? And there you have it. Rose Quartz did it, and that's Rose Quartz. I rest my case. Oh, she's good. Well, I'm convinced. Time to execute. Not yet. The defense still has to speak. Right, well, uh, before I start my very uh, thought-out defense, I'd like to remind the court that Rose Quartz did turn herself in. The court remembers, and the court does not care. Uh, of course. Uh, innocent. Uh, the word innocent can mean, oh, many different things. I did it! What? 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 Stop! No. I want to hear what she has to say. State your name for the record, please. I, um, I am Rose Quartz, and I'm guilty. Wait, no, don't say that. Everything you guys said I did, I did. And I did it by myself. I'm sorry. I'll accept any punishment you want to give me. Just let him go. And leave the Earth alone. Ha! Huh. Sounds like a solid confession to me. How? How did you do it? Huh? How did you shatter Pink Diamond? Um, well, I did it on Earth, in front of Pink Diamond's palanquin. I was probably like, stop, and she was all like, no, so we fought, I think. And she probably did some cool moves, uh, I probably did some cool stuff too, some, some jump kicks and stuff, but... I was most likely deeply conflicted about deciding to shatter her. Definitely crying. I probably had to use the breaking point to do it. It was a sword! You shattered her with a sword. <laughs> That's quite enough testimony from you. We shall take a short recess. is flawed, I grant you. A shallow stratagem who turned on her own kind out of a misguided attachment to a planet and creatures like these. It's indisputable that as the diamond overseeing Earth, Pink was Rose Quartz's enemy. Rose had everything to gain by shattering her. But even though she may have wanted to shatter Pink Diamond, could she? Blue Diamond, for the purpose of this argument, May I present your palanquin? Is this necessary? Isn't it? Please, proceed. Now, as the records show, Pink Diamond was shattered just outside a palanquin much like this. Witnesses said Pink had stepped out and had taken only a few steps forward when Rose attacked her from the front. 
The question no one seems to be asking is, how? I've been asking that question. And right, you are to ask, my diamond, b because at the time that pink was shattered, rose quartz had been a recognized threat for several hundred years. There were no rose quartz soldiers in her entourage, and none in her guard. So how did a rose quartz, with no business being anywhere near pink diamond, get so close in the first place? Where were pink diamond's attendants? Her agates? Her sapphires? And where was her pearl? They were with her, of course. They saw the whole thing. But none of them saw Rose Quartz approach? Wouldn't her sapphires have seen Rose Quartz coming? Wouldn't her agates have tried to fight her off? That is strange. She must have slipped past them. Even if she did, wouldn't her pearl have cried out in alarm? Watch out, my diamond! No, whoever did this was already close to Pink Diamond. Someone her guards would allow to get near her. Someone she would listen to when asked to stop her palanquin and step outside. And someone with the authority to cover it up afterwards. Someone with supreme authority. Someone like one of you! <gasps> Disregard that last statement. I might have gotten carried away. 